Good morning everybody. My name is Jody. My husband David John and I have a small farm in the panhandle of North Idaho. These are our stories and adventures. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and off with today's adventure. Well, today we're going to be working on making the one brooder area a permanent brooder. We're going to lay a concrete pad for the hover brooder to be on so it will work twofold. It will work as kind of a heat sump from because the concrete will get warm, will be easy to clean. Gonna do a hardware cloth box for the water dish to go on to help keep it clean, especially when we have the waterfowl babies in here. So You've seen the, the brooder area over here in this back corner. And we are going to be doing the welded box wire all the way up on these two sides and having a door over here. So we're going to have a nice little area to have babies in. Working on building the door for the brooder. Okay, let's run this guy all the way to the end here. And you want to do rounded to the outside? Yeah. Now that I just marked where the three foot was on the other side. Uh huh. Picked up. Okay. Somewhere around there. I need a Yes, it does. Thing of them. <laughs> Just get the whole thing of them. Uh -huh. Let's go like this. Go. 
Yeah. I'm like, I don't have to this. Yeah? So? Just right. Okay. Let's do the... On this side up here. And most of what we're using to create this is we're reusing what we have. Well, let's try it again.
Okay. <coughs> So we're pulling the wire off the top of the goose enclosure. Gonna reuse part of that in the brooder pen. But it goes with future plans for this area. We don't need it covered. So that was uneventful, but it looks weird without the wire up there.
Okay, so this is the frame that I'm going to use for their water dish to go on. And I'm going to cover it with quarter inch box uh, hardware, cloth. hardware cloth. So the water can go through and not make a huge mess in the pen itself. Not in my pocket. Did I leave them in the chicken coop? So that gives us a good spot for the water dish to be on. Get a couple legs on it and get it installed in the coop. Get the forms for the concrete built and mix concrete. So there's the basic form for the concrete. Went through and back filled with some old soil from the greenhouse so we're going to get concrete mixed and pour it in there but there's the water tray installed so it's all set in place kind of went through with the broom and roughed it up and the main reason we did that is because you don't want a smooth surface. So the baby chicks, a smooth surface would encourage leg splaying, which is really bad. The rough surface, they'll be able to walk on and have traction. So we're gonna shut this door and forget that we had anything going on in here for a couple days. And then I can get in here, get the fresh sh shavings put down and get the hover brooder set up where it's going to be. So as you see, we've got the forms taken off the concrete. And we are going to be trimming this board down here, put right here, and need to do some dirt work but and some shavings. But pretty much we're ready to get the lights set up in here and the hover brooder for the babies when they start rolling in. So that's where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you have a good day and a good week, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.